Hi everybody, this is Dark Onion here again with a, another how-to. Uh, today we'll be doing a tutorial on installing or rather um, modifying the uh, 3G wireless hotspot so that you can get it for free and that you, uh, you can use to uh, create a hotspot for you to uh, connect to the internet with either your laptop or your Game Boy or whatever. So, um, so uh, here we go. Um, so you really need three things. Um, you're going to need to have your phone uh, first be rooted. If you haven't had your phone rooted yet, uh, check out one of my other videos and get your phone rooted. Uh, the second thing is you'll need the couch uh, bootstrapper for uh, Droid 2 if you have a Droid 2 and, uh, and the couch Droid X bootstrapper if you have a Droid X. Um, lastly, you need the uh, Team Black Hat D2 or DX uh, tether patch. Um, there are two different files, so if you have a D2, get the D2 one. If you have the Droid X, get the Droid X one. Um, I'll be posting a all the information on instructions and um, and links to files in the comment box of this video. Um, all right, so uh, if you already read your phone, um, you probably know your way around the Droid the Droid 2 or Droid X pretty well, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip a bunch of steps. Uh, if you need any help, go ahead and uh, post in the comments section. So, um, I'm running Fission. Uh, it doesn't currently have the um, the 3G wireless hotspot, so I will be doing an extra step today uh, for you Fission users. Um, otherwise, uh, you'll just be patching your phone. So, first things first. Uh, go ahead and pull out your phone. Oh, the other thing is that um, the uh, Team Black Hat D2 slash DX tether patch, uh, it's a zip file. You need to, uh, of course, download it and put it on the base card or the base directory of your SD card. All right. Um, and like I said, if you need help, uh, put a comment in the comments section and I will help you out. All right. So first things first, uh, pull out your phone. Okay and go to the Droid 2 Bootstrap, click that. You'll see uh, two options at the top. One is Bootstrap Recovery, the other one is Reboot Recovery. First, Bootstrap Recovery, all right? And it's gonna say Success, press OK, and then Reboot Recovery, which will now reboot your phone. All right, and while it's rebooting, While, we're, while it's rebooting, <coughs> um, yep. So you're gonna see this green screen, which is Clockwork Mod Recovery, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the, I believe it's the fifth option, which is Install Zip from SD Card. Okay, you're gonna select it. You're gonna choose to choose Zip from SD Card, and so for you Fission users, you don't have 3G wireless hotspot because the ROM creator removed it, so you need to install that first. So that'd be fission3ghotspot.zip. Install that, confirm. It's gonna install, okay. And then what you need to do is install the Team Black Hat, the TVH D2 Tire Patch 1.0.zip. Okay, confirm that. And it's going to run. All right. And then reboot your system. After it's all installed, reboot your system.
and there you have it. Birijiri Mobile Hotspot. Okay. Uh, just all you gotta do is um, check to enable. It's gonna give you a warning, so saying something like you're, you know, it's gonna affect your battery life, and there's a bunch of security things and blah blah blah. Press OK, and then it's gonna bring up the AP settings. There's gonna be settings where you can define your SSID and your encryption method and all those goodies. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it. Alright, Dark Onion out.